I come to you asking for forgiveness. Please pardon the graphic details I'm about to share. I ask that you accept my plea of guilty and let me still walk away free. My time has already been served. Many years on earth I've been paying penance for my actions. I, your honor, am a rapist. But let me tell you why I did it. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, let me first apologize for my sometimes unapologetic and often uncomfortable statements. I am really great at passing blame. You see, I was violated at a young age. Having had personal space invaded, shame has overtaken me, but my eyes cannot unsee what they've seen. So I repeated it, all of it, and committed adultery against me, knowing his dwelling place is in my temple. He didn't ask for it, but I did it. I remember the first time I raped Jesus. I had a deep, loving relationship with him. Didn't realize until after he hadn't consented. I mean, by cover of night, I pulled the blanket of darkness around me, let the night take over. It began to touch my body, but it wasn't mine, it was truly his. And every defiling motion of my hands, deflowering a man who never knew another in that way. Vines twisted up and wrapped around him and me. The cricket silenced. My attempt at relieving pain as a child was hurting an innocent man. Through the years, he turned into my own personal sex slave. He tried to set me free. But I wouldn't couldn't. Instead started harboring unforgiveness in my belly with phrases like, none of this would have happened if I hadn't had my childhood stolen. Forgetting that I still own my own choices, choosing to take control and instead losing it. All of it. My mind, my sanity, my soul. I grieved. Now, Your Honor, I promise it didn't end there. You see, well, Jesus, he didn't accuse me. No, 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 no. The world brought this trial against me. My conscience brought this trial against me. I let people tell me to satisfy yourself, not realizing that selfishness was the original tormentor's weapon. I wanted to steal intimacy from somebody who wanted to engage in it freely with me, not with twisted sexuality, but with love that pours out an STD treatment, the sexually transmitted demons that I often inflicted and insisted upon giving myself, throwing myself into the powers of the force that be. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I assure you I'm already free. Prison sentence you've given me is only a cell, a physical one. But I live outside of the walls because the man that I violated took the keys of hell and grave. I won't deny that I raped a man. Sexually enslaved a man, tied myself to bondage, but I assure you, he's already forgiven me, caressed me tenderly with worthiness and adoration. He took my hand in marriage, where there were once bruises and pulsating veins. He transformed into a well-manicured princess. Solid gold band, diamond smack dab in the center. I mean, if Meghan Markle can have her Prince Harry, I will live out my sentencing forever with King Jesus. Even if you decide to register me as sex offender, I am forgiven without an accuser. And I've forgiven all of my accusers.